race means. Me I've heard either. it around before, but I don't know. Could you tell me, please? You know, to be honest, uh, Grace never thought about it. Um, Grace? I don't really know. <laughs> Do you know? Mm -mm. I don't know. <laughs> so let's talk about grace. Here's the first question I want to pose to each and every single one of you. What is grace? Now, as I've shared before, I think some of us, we've heard this word so often that we've stopped asking what it means and how does it impact my life. A theologian by the name of Paul Enns defines grace in this way. He says, quote, grace may be defined as the unmerited or undeserving favor of God to those who were under condemnation. The Bible says that you and I, because of our sin, because of our rebellion, we deserve judgment, condemnation, and death. Now, I know that in our modern world, it's not cool to be speaking about sin or sinner but it's important that we're also speaking truth. And in speaking truth, the Bible says that we deserve judgment, condemnation, and death. And what is grace? Grace says, despite what we deserve, God gave us mercy, compassion, love, and grace. He gives us the gift of his son, Jesus. That's Good news. Here's what Paul says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. God made him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Now, let me give you an illustration to drive the point. How many of you here, be honest, raise show of hands, how many of you here have had and been caught for a speeding ticket? Raise your hand. Speeding ticket. Oh my goodness. It's a bunch of sinners here. Which is true. Now, I should also raise my hand. I have also been caught for speeding several times. Okay? <laughs> And the first time I received a ticket was when I was, I think, in college many, many years ago. I was driving my first car. I think you may have heard about it. It was a 1976 Volkswagen Bug convertible. And so I'm driving this car around, and I was going 79 miles per hour. Don't judge me. It's too late at a 55 mile per hour zone. And I remember it vividly because it was so scary. The police officer comes, knocks on the window, and back then, kids, we had this thing called a manual window. <laughs> Spoiled brats. And so it takes you about five minutes to roll it down. And so I slowly roll it down, and the police officer says what? Says, may I have your driver's license and registration? And before he asks for those things, he asks me this question, do you know how fast you were going? And all people lie. No, sir. <laughs> yeah, you know. Driver's license and registration, I, with trepidation, give my driver's license and registration. The police officer retreats to his car. After a few minutes, the inevitable happened. The police officer says, young man, here is your ticket. Now, let's just be honest. No matter how much I whine, no matter how much I complain, no matter how much I'm praying, the reality is when I receive that ticket, what transpired in our worldly sense is that justice happened. I broke the law knowingly and willingly. Now, imagine this scenario where the police officer comes, knocks on the window, and after that same exchange, the police officer says, guess what, I'm going to let you go with a warning. warning. 
Now, what is that? As Christians, when I've asked Christians how they would define that, the majority of Christians would define that as grace. That's not grace. That's simply mercy. So what's grace in this story? It's crazy. It's nonsensical. It's incongruous. I want you to imagine a situation, a scenario, where the police officer comes, does the exact same thing, recounts your transgression and says, I'm going to pay for your ticket. And then I'm going to give you everything that I have. It's shocking. My point, that's grace. It is unmerited, undeserving, amazing grace. 